Good morning, this is Paul, and today we're going to talk about Zamorano versus Trinidad. So on my left here, you can see is Zamorano. It's a little damaged from the cold, and here's a new cutting of Trinidad that we got from Sal. So um, apparently the Trinidad variety has been in California for a while, and it is mentioned three times in Paul Thompson's book. However, uh, doing some research on the internet, this Trinidad looks a lot like uh, spicy exotics Zamorano. So if you know anything about these two varieties, I'd appreciate more information. Are these accurate? Um, Sal seems to think that this name is accurate for Trinidad. So I'm excited to see what the fruit and flowers look like. And the Zamorano I got from a, a decent source and I've also seen some other Zamoranos that look similar to this. So this is the annoying thing with the dragon fruit in my opinion is that uh, the names and varieties are kind of have a lot of redundancy and are unclear at times. So we'll have to see when this thing gets older and produces some flowers and fruit. We'll see what happens. And here's the Zamorano on the top here. You can see it's growing nicely throughout the winter, but there's no way that these are the same variety, but we're just confused about them. So if you have any information on them or could tell us more, we'd appreciate it. There's Zamorano up close. Whoa. Ouch. And here is Trinidad. So uh, there's a mature piece on the left. It kind of reminds me of Sugar Dragon, the, the skin at least. But really spiny, like a red flesh Lisa or something. So you can just see here's a new growth, a new cutting, young cutting, I should say. Really spiny as well. And just look at those loops. That's a very unique looking variety of dragon fruit, in my opinion. It's very beautiful. Alright, so there you go. If you have any information on Zamorano, or especially Trinidad, I'd appreciate it. Alright, give us a like and a subscribe. Have a great day. Take care. Dude, it's creepy.